welcome back crafty friends it's alicia of the call me crafty owl youtube channel and today i am back with a little haul from harbor freight and which doesn't sound very crafty but just wait and then i got some paper at michael's and a few other things that i think you'll want to see all right if you have watched my 2016 crafty faves video that I did a collaboration with I'm a Cool Mom, you will have seen these cases already. Um, so far from the video, the most comments I have gotten are about these cases that I keep my sequins in. You'll see there's a big box with 24 little boxes in it, and each tiny box has its own clasp, and I like them because stuff can't fall out. I had most of my sequins in these little cases from the Dollar Tree, which I think are adorable and I, I do like, but late Lately, my sequins have been like falling between the cover and the divider and they're kind of getting messy in there you can see here on the side and back here so I decided that I was gonna take what I have in here and put them into the new containers well I only had like one row left in the containers I had so I had to make a trip to Harbor Freight today um, when I got there they only had, I went for two, even though I only needed one, I thought, well, if I get more sequins, which since they were one of my 2016 crafty faves, I probably will. So I only went for two of these, but they only had four left. And even though this is still in like the metropolitan area I live in, it still is like a 25 minute drive. So I went ahead and grabbed the last four they had, and I'm going to work on over the next week getting my other sequins into the individual boxes. So I got these at Harbor Freight again. They were $4.99. My husband did have a coupon, but I think we just got 20% off one. So I got one for $4, which it kind of paid for the tax. Okay, next up was our trip to Michael's. I have been going in there every day to see if the Valentine's Day stuff is out, or the new dollar fifty spot is out, and then also there was an empty paper rack that holds like the the five for ten dollar cardstock packs, but some of the labels made it look like it was going to be new hot buy paper pads. Guess what? They were finally out today. I did take a little quick video, so I'll insert that in just a second, but I felt kind of weird videotaping there. But I did take a video of the area so you can see how many new paper pads they had. I'll put that right now. Okay, so I know I didn't so show too much in the video like what the papers were, but out of the, they probably had eight to ten new patterned ones, I ended up getting three that I really liked. So um, in my Michaels haul, I will share those with you, and then at the end of the video, I will do a flip through so you can see the different patterns in there. So I'll show you what I got at Michaels. All right, so here is what I bought at Michaels. The only thing I really went for was some winter themed goodies because I'm in a winter pocket letter swap with another YouTuber. So I did find, and it was 70% um, off, these two items from the Christmas goodies that were still left again. These were 70% off. These are some little um, felt snowflakes in different colors. There's white, blue, kind of a teal and a green and a purple. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a design kind of embossed into it. So I thought those would be fun on the pocket letter, you know, or to put a few as goodies in the back. The next thing I bought were the treat toppers with snowflakes. And the snowflakes are like a metallic blue, a metallic silver, and then kind of a metallic rose gold. I thought those would be cute to add in there as well. And then the next two pieces, these pieces were not on sale. They were full price, but I thought these would be gorgeous for the pocket letter. I wanted to do white, teal, and silver, so I thought these would go well. And they are shiny, if you can see that. We have the blue with the white snowflakes, and then just a white glitter. I thought this would make some fun snow, snow hills or a snow scene. And now are the new paper pads that I bought. 
This first one has kind of like a Paris, a French theme, and it is called C'est la vie. There are 12 papers with treatments, and there are 48 sheets total. So I see this, this one here with the text, it has kind of a, uh, oh, you know, like when you um, clear emboss a stamp, kind of that feel to it. But we'll go through those later and I'll explain them. So I got the C'est La Vie. I got the confetti, which is like a birthday theme. And then I, here I see there's some gold glitter. Oops. And the last paper pad I got was Candy Retro. And what probably sold this were the little roller skates. My daughter um, has taken lots of roller skating lessons and we go there, um, except for between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we go there about every weekend for her to skate. She enjoys it. It's good exercise. So I got those three paper pads. And again, at the end of the video, I'll do a flip through for you. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, I saw that they had the new paper pads out. And of course, you know, they're $19.99. There are no signs up. And I knew for certain that eventually these would be like five or five ninety nine. So I was crossing my fingers that tomorrow would be the day we got the ad that they were on sale. The hot buy stuff was on sale. So, you know, I left them there. I didn't pick any up. And then as we were leaving, there was another display of the older patterns and it had a sign on it that they were 70% off. So I immediately had to go back across the store and do the price checker. And yes, friends, these were $5.99 today. I was so excited to get the brand new pads for that much. The last thing I bought at Michael's is this Life's Better with a Westland Highland, West Highland Terrier sticker. And it's a magnet and it says you can put it on your car, your locker, fridge, your filing cabinets. I got this because I work at an elementary school library and we have a retired librarian who brings her little Westie in for our kindergarten and first grade classes to read with them and, you know, help them look for books. The kids just love um, both the librarian and the dog. So I thought as a little belated Christmas present, I would give her that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the walkthrough videos. All right, the first paper pad that I'll do a flip through of is the C'est La Vie. It's the French or the Paris themed one. I'm gonna turn it here so we can see it. So here we have just a black, it looks kind of like watercolored stripes, just horizontal black watercolored stripes. And look up here at the top, guys. I've never noticed this before. The strip that's holding it onto the binding is a different pattern. These would be great to use as accents on cards or pocket letters or even in planners. The next paper, oh, that is actually the paper from the strip before. They're watercolored flowers. And then we have some French icons. There is a baguette, a croissant, maybe a, some kind of pastry, Eiffel Tower lipstick, your little black and white striped shirt that kind of makes you think of Paris or France, and then the word we, oui, and an artist paint palette. That's cute. Okay. Next up are some four by four cards that you could use in an album, or if you have the four by four um, Instagram or Instagram albums, you could do that. Poodle, merci, meet me in Paris. Paris is always a good idea. Life is beautiful, and that actually, the text is gold foil. Bonjour with the Arc de Triomphe. And down at the bottom, a little French woman and her beret. Ooh la la. And a little French, is that a French bulldog? A little scarf. Okay. Here we have a French city scene. Down here at the bottom, you have your little Vespa. Here we have some more cards. Um, we have four by six, four by fours, and then down here at the bottom, a little one that says Paris. So probably two by four. Just different um, sentiment cards, some journaling cards. 
And here is the one that has the treatment. And yeah, it's it's just kind of slick. You might be able to see the reflection in the camera. And it just has different French sayings. And next is just a background paper with a kind of pink and red city scene over here and some watercolor it looks like and bonjour. A whole page of poodles. They're mainly black and white, but there's a little pink with a green background. Next up, some perfume bottles. And they have different, like, Coco Number no. 4, Je T'aime, Eau de Parfum, kind of a watercolorish background, green, reddish, pink, um, some tan. And here is another one. Um, is this a Fleur, Fleur de Lis? I think what it's called, and those are metallic foil. Oh, look at that cute. It's that paper with the little French icons, and it's the strip on this page. That's adorable. The icons are kind of more smushed together. They don't have as much white space. That's cute. Next, we have a Carousel de Paris, and it's, um, you know, the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe. Is that the windmill from the Moulin Rouge? I'm not sure, but then we have a little carousel down here. Yep. Some bicycles in a light, kind of a, a mauve-ish pastel pink, a pastel orange, pastel green, and then a pretty dark blue, kind of a navy. Next, kind of watercolor-ish red, light red spots. Eiffel Tower on an orange background and little red stars next to it. Ooh, and then some macarons. This one, just some, just a pattern. Some swirls. Here is another one with words on it, just bonjour. And one of the bonjours is red down here. Kind of a little watercolor in the background. Now these words do not have that treatment. They are not shiny like on the other page. Here we have a diamond pattern and this color is kind of like a reddish pink and gold foil lines running through it. Another page of cards here. We have City of Lights with the Eiffel Tower behind it. Coffee is the best idea. I'm in love with cities I've never been to and people I've never met. Take me to Paris. Let's eat croissants and pretend we're in Paris. I have a desire to explore you and me and Paris. And then some little strips over here. Okay. Next up, another background paper with just the single image down here in the corner. You probably can't see it on camera, but in the background is a very light Eiffel Tower. There's a plane, a suitcase, and it says, we'll always have Paris. Another background paper. With some flowers in the bottom, light blue background. And here we just have a fancy French lady in a pink dress, and the background's kind of watercolored. Got a cute little bob haircut. Okay, and this one... I thought at first it was a 6x12 and a 6x12, but they kind of blend into each other. You have gold metallic dots, and then down here is that flower pattern, but they kind of both bleed into each other. That's pretty. And that is it, friends. So that was the C'est La Vie paper pad recollections. And again, I got this Hot Buy paper pad for $5.99 today. All right, next up is the confetti collection. And as I mentioned before, this one is kind of birthday themed. Let me slice this open so we can look at the pages. Uh, oops. All right, first up, are some six by six cards here with they have the letters on some of them are in 
gold glitter. This one says happy day, celebrate, let's have a party, shout, hooray. You could probably make a very cute 6x6 birthday card with these, or again, they would be good for scrapbooks. Cute. This one is a background. She she had a balloon in her hand and confetti in the air. Now, the reason I got this paper pad is later you're going to see lots of smaller sentiment cards kind of and they all kind of had of a confetti theme i thought they would make awesome shaker cards shaker bookmarks shaker pockets and pocket letters so like here this one would be cute if you put like a you know clear bag over it and put a whole bunch of confetti in that this one is a kind of a word background paper and each of the letters has kind of confetti in it. Happy B-Day, Best Day, Happy Joy, Confetti, Hooray. It's cute. Next up, I don't know if you can see it in camera. It is a pink background. And it has words all over it. And they have like a holographic effect. Um, happy Birthday, Hip Hip Hooray, Cue the Confetti, Beautiful Mess celebrate so excited good times that's pretty the next one at the top toss the confetti and shout hooray and then at the very bottom we have the confetti strip and just some polka dots next another background with a cupcake down here let's eat cake that sounds like a good idea Okay, another very pretty. All the the dots in the middle are gold glittered. Toss the confetti and shout hooray. And then again, the bottom is the same background as a couple pages ago. Let's look at that again. Okay, so it's the same exact paper, except this one has the gold dots in the center. Here we have some sprinkles, just all over background paper. Some colored dots, and it's like um, a mint, kind of a dark mauve, an orange, a brown, and then a yellow. Okay. This one has the same words as the page with the holographic letters, except these are in gold glitter. I just think these will make some great birthday cards. Some bigger confetti down here at the bottom at the top of this page we have some confetti and at the bottom it says add a little confetti to each day that's cute oh this one's pretty I don't know if you can see that so this page has different colored stripes the same as the confetti but over the top of it are little dots and they're kind of that holographic effect too. I'll see, move that and see if you can see that. Very cute. All right. So here we have some four by six journaling cards and they have all the confetti or the sprinkles theme. Hip hip hooray. Cue the confetti. Good times. And the bottom, let's have a party. Let's celebrate. Throw kindness around like confetti. I really like that sentiment and I think that would make a cute bookmark or a cute shaker pocket. Here's just some more confetti pages. This one is black and white stripe with the gold glitter dots. Okay, this is the page I was talking about before with all the cards with different sayings, but a lot of them had to do with confetti or sprinkles. Celebrate, toss the confetti and shout hooray, make it happy. So those would make very cute, easy shaker pockets down here. Oh, here, this would make a great bookmark, and you could probably put it on the front of a card, and they could take it off and use it. Add a little confetti to each day. And here's a card with some, you could cut as border strips, and then at the bottom, they have some more little, probably, yeah, two by two images that have some confetti on them. Here's some popcorn, and it says, sprinkled with love. The next page is some hexagon confetti, and some of them in kind of this white area have that holographic effect. This 
a page of cupcakes. Some arrowhead kind of confetti, triangle confetti. And this, um, lots of different sentiments. And the white is kind of, again, that holographic effect. Let's see that. And then, oh no, we have stripes in the same colors as the confetti. There are diagonal stripes. And then here we have some, it would be three by six cards. Again, these would make great bookmarks, um, you know, shaker bookmarks. They all have some sentiments or images that have confetti or sprinkles. All right. So that was the confetti stack, and this one is by, by Die Cuts with a View. It is a hot buy paper pad at Michael's, and I got it for $5.99 again today. Yay! And last but not least is the Candy Retro paper pad. This one is by Recollections, but again, it is a hot buy that I got for $5.99 today. They were 70% off. This paper pad has 48 sheets, two of each design, and 12 of those have treatments. So I think that should mean half the paper. Let's go ahead and look through these. Here we have some typewriters in the background, which speaking of typewriters, I would love to have the typecast, but I do not want to pay that much money for it. Here we have, and again, this paper pad, it's another um, Recollections one, and again, it has those strips at the top of different patterns you could use. But this has some 4x4 four four cards on it, some down here are different size. I'll let you see those. This one here, Capture Each Moment, would be great for scrapbooking. And I like these signs, they have a lot of these throughout. They kind of remind me of kind of 50s-ish diner. And there's glitter on some of these sentiments too. Fix up. Some diagonal stripes here, a little distress up here, and then down in the bottom, these hearts are actually cut out. That's cute. That would be a cute idea for a card in a pocket letter to just make a, a you know, a patterned two and a half by three and a half and just die cut some images out and leave those without anything behind them. The next one, we have some circles with diamonds in them, and some of the diamonds have kind of pink glitter. Another shape kind of reminiscent of the 50s. Old, old um, telephones. Oh, this is cute. Some retro radios down here in the corner. The background's kind of like a tan with little polka dots. Some records. They all say memory lane, memory lane records, stereophonic. They're just different colored centers. This next paper down at the bottom, we have a definitely 50s-ish um, design. Lots of signs, bowling, diner, cafe, lounge, motel, drive-in, and some of the some of the images or text are glittery. Some light bulbs in different shapes, but kind of like those old fashioned light bulbs, especially this one. I've seen a lot of those actually coming back in. Inside each light bulb is a word or a little icon. Next up, background great for scrapping, lovely memories. Here we have some vertical stripes with old fashioned cars here on the bottom. A nice background paper with just different sayings. All right. Here's another one with cards. We have some four by sixes, some four by threes. These are cute old time cassette and there's kind of, there's that design from the one paper. Well, vacay today's favorites journaling card. Love that roller skate. And here above the camera it says best and it's white glitter. Here's an old old fashioned or vintage camera background. 
of different kinds of cameras. Instant happiness, lovely memories, favorite, fantastic shot. Lots of cassettes in the background here. They say some different things. Love song, I love music, disco song. Just another retro background here. Not a real big fan of that one. Another background. Here's some bicycle background. They had one in the French stack, but it was different. All right, look at these guys. So here is a page of tags and they are actually die cut. How fun is that? Down here at the bottom, oh, there are, oops, this, oh, that one got ruined. You're gonna have to be very careful if you buy this because yeah, one of the music notes centers got bent back. So here they've cut out some music notes on the radio tag, our mixtape. And here it says, I'll make you a mixtape and you can maybe write down your favorite songs right now and the artist, that's cute. Here are some little flowers and then the paper that sold it for me, the retro roller skates. So cute. I think this might be the last. Nope. So here's like a starburst using the colors from the paper it burst out from the center of it. And this one is the last one here. We just have some more retro signage. Very cute. So again, this one was the Candy Retro. This was a Hot Buy pack at Michael's. Today, $5.99, regularly $19.99. So I hope you had fun watching that little flip through. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you would like to know when I upload more videos and you're not a subscriber already, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button below. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.